my research interests are around post-industrial communities. So those communities that used to depend upon particular industries, uh, particularly coal mining, but also um, uh, shipbuilding and steel. Um, I've worked here in the UK in terms of research in the northeast of England, but I've also got an interest in post-industrial coal communities within Canada. So I've travelled quite a lot to actually ex compare situations. And my key concern is with issues of class and gender. And, and one of the key uh, questions I'm asking is, you know, when the work is gone, what becomes of the culture, the community, the identity, and the well-being of the people who are left behind? Um, there's a whole range of sociological issues within all of that, questions of class, questions of equality, um, questions of um, social care and whether the state should be or should not be involved in the lives of people. And for me, I build an interest um, around those subjects th within the teaching programme um, through reference to my own research. So if I'm teaching theory around class, I can refer to my own research and my own experience about it. Um, if I'm teaching uh, research methods or contributing to that, I can talk about my own experience of research and the ethical problems associated with that and, you know, how that matches up with them, you know, what might be happening in textbooks in terms of research methods. So, in a way, I think my research is at the heart of the sociological question about people's, you know, everyday lived experiences, but a world in which they, you know, they can't always control what's going to come around the corner. They can't necessarily take control of their lives. I'm also interested in resistance because what I find in these communities is people are trying to survive and they're trying to resist, you know, uh, the decline of their community. So I'm interested in activism as well.